You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome to Bark and Swagger on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Jody Miller Young, and we're going to be talking today with Will Chen and Natalie Hennessy of Play Pet Products, a design conscious, eco friendly brand making very cool pet beds and toys. We're going to find out about their unusual design concept, what makes them so eco friendly, and more when we return after the short commercial break. We'll be right back after a short pause. Pet Life Radio, the number one pet radio network on the planet, joins forces with iHeartRadio to put the power of your pets in your pocket. Awesome. Download the iHeartRadio app and rock Pet Life Radio on your phone, on your tablet, on your Xbox, in your car. Pet talk, pet tunes, and fun pet times. Pet Life Radio and iHeartRadio. Positively possum. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back. You're listening to Bark and Swagger on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Jody Miller Young, and we're talking today with Will Chen, CEO of Play Pet Products, and Natalie Hennessy, marketing and PR head. Welcome, guys. Hi, Jody. Thanks Thank for having us. Thanks for having us. My pleasure. I'm very excited to talk to you today. Will, you're talking to us from Hong Kong, halfway around the world. Yes, yes, yeah. It's, uh, we, we now are selling in uh, different parts of the world, so Deborah and I get to travel quite a bit um, to meet distributors, and also you know, we're constantly on the lookout for new products, new materials. So, uh, yeah, we have to do a lot of traveling and have to deal with multiple time zones. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's great to be doing this when you're young. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Well, I love play. You guys make some really great looking pet beds and other things that seem very well thought through. Will, tell us what play stands for and how and why it came about. Sure. So PLAY stands actually stands for, uh, it's an acronym for our food company name called Pet Lifestyle and You. And we are primarily a premier lifestyle oriented pet bedding and toys company based in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. The company actually, the idea actually came back in 2010 when Deborah, back then was my girlfriend, now uh, we're married. Deborah and I, we got our little pup Momo and it was actually in it was actually an idea of necessity. Shortly after we have a dog in our family, we started um, looking around for you know everything that pet parents would usually look for. So uh, you know, bed, pet bed is definitely one of the items that's on our shopping list. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't find what we thought would be something that's pretty straightforward. In we, what we found in the market was pretty interesting. A lot of products in the market that sold in uh, the mass market channels. To be honest, you mean like a Petco or, or a PetSmart or you know things like that, like the big chains. Yeah, exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. In the big chain, um, there are tons of options, but and they are inexpensive too. But most of them are not durable; they are not washable. So you know, we try a couple of them, and actually, Momo is a pretty picky diva. The way we look at it, she <laughs> refuses to even sleep on some of them. And you know, then we started looking at the higher end products. And to our surprise, actually, um, most of them don't have some of the key features that we were looking for. So, you know, with, with the benefit of some of my background and experience in manufacturing and operations, I thought, you know, why not we make our own? And, you know, we were in San Francisco, so we were very blessed to be in, uh, in a city where there are a lot of uh, talented artists, as well as a lot of um, startup companies that focus on uh, things that we care a lot about, like uh, green technology or sustainable materials. So it, it kind of gave us uh, the platform to really mm-hmm. build on that mm-hmm. idea, and that's how we built the business. Wonderful. Very, very interesting. And your brand has a specific philosophy to it, too, which I really, really liked. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, sure. So the philosophy actually can be summarized in three words. It's really pretty simple. It's pets, people, and planet. You know, the way I look at it is, or the way we look at it is that when we want to make pet products for the discerning pet lovers and pet parents, we are not only looking at making products that are 
that are comfortable or the highest quality for our pets. That's almost like a prerequisite. What we want to take a step further is to make sure that the products are designed for humans as well as the environment too. So the human part is about injecting design styles and in our case of uh, pet beds, you know, we feel that it's a visible addition in your living room or your bedroom. So why not make something that is more fitting for your interior design? We will talk about it in a little bit how the design aspect of our product. Something yes, I know. exactly. I'm going to want to know more about that for sure. And what I love too is they're beautiful, they're eco-friendly, and they're affordable. You know, it's sometimes when you shop for a high-end bed or a high-end looking bed, you end up having to pay a lot of money for it. So I really like that you combine all these things. Natalie, tell us about the eco-friendly piece because that's important to a lot of our listeners. I know it's important to me. Yes, it's very important to play. We want to make sure that all of our products are both stylish and practical, but that they're made with the environment in mind. So everything you see from the tag that's placed on our beds and toys to the minimalized packaging that we use and the Planet Fill um, soft polyfiber filling is all made from recyclable products. The Planet Fill actually features, or they're made from recycled plastic bottles, which I find it fascinating to know that when your dog is lounging in an extra large lounge bed, he's actually sitting on top of what once was 180 plastic water bottles. Oh my God. That's amazing. I know. It's just amazing to know. Yeah. That what you were once drinking is now something that is, you know, has been spun down into this really soft fiber and is now comfortable and supportive for your pet. Well, Exactly. I find it incredible what we are now able to do with things like plastic. You know, back in the day, you know, when The Graduate came out, you know, back in the, what was it, late 60s, that famous movie, the one thing that, you know, the family friend whispered into Ben's ear was plastics, because at that time, it was going to be, you know, the new business of the future. But we have come such a long way to be able to create so many incredible things out of material like plastic. So that is very, very cool. And you also sought out, specifically sought out, a manufacturer for your beds that does infant and children's products. Why was that so important to you? We did. It's really important because as pet pet owners and pet parents, we're really looking for products that are safe for your animals. Obviously, you don't want them to come into contact with anything that could be harmful or dangerous to them. So for us, it's really important that everything is baby safe. We we go through a lot of strict quality standards, standards and tests to make sure that those products are absolutely safe when they reach your pet. And in turn, we want to make sure they provide the most maximum support possible for your pet while they're lounging and sleeping. So it's really important that we take our planet fill and we overstuff actually our beds with this dense eco filler to make sure that they support and provide that maximum comfort. Well, that leads me right into the next thing I wanted to find out more about, which is the different styles of beds you have and what's best suited for whom. Because, you know, our listeners may have big dogs, small dogs, senior dogs, cats, Tell us about what you offer and why. What's great about Play is we offer a variety of different beds because we know that not every dog and cat sleeps the same way. So I think first, before even purchasing the bed, you should definitely know how your pet sleeps. Are they a cuddler? Do they like to stretch out? And in turn, we offer lots of different options. So you're going to see our round and rectangular beds, which range from small to larges. And that's really more for the dog that wants to lounge around the house, maybe you put in your living room, that really wants to kind of stretch and sprawl. If your dog, like some of our dogs, like to be kind of cozy, they're going to want the popular lounge bed style. So that's going to feature the four elevated sides. That way your pup can rest its head really comfortably on the sides. Nice. And we rate those range from small to extra large as well. So it really fits any pup. For the smaller dogs and cats, a lot of them like to burrow and really be nice and comfortable. And they are looking for something kind of plush and soft. And that's where our snuggle bed is the perfect fit. It's really versatile. You can do it in four different ways to really make sure that it's customized to your pet. And then, of course, a lot of us are on the go. We're always traveling. Uh, you know, our pet comes with us to the office like our pets do. So that's where you kind of use a chill pad. Um, those are smaller. They're uh, light and durable. And they're really suitable for a lot of variety of, of spaces, including even your standard pet crates. Very cool. Sounds very cozy and delicious, Natalie. (laughs) They are very cozy. (laughs) (laughs) So I want to learn more about the designs, which are beautiful, and the very cool collaborations that you've created. But we're going to take a short commercial break here. Somebody has to pay for this radio show. So (laughs) we are going to be right back to talk more with Play Pet Products, Will and Natalie, after the short commercial break. Sit. 
Stay. We'll be right back, right after we kibble a little with our sponsors. Hi, this is Tim Link, animal communicator and pet expert and host of Animal Rights on Pet Life Radio. Have you ever wanted to know what your pet is really thinking? Do you want to find out if they truly understand what you're trying to tell them? Ever wish you could build a better understanding and closer relationship with your pet? Well, now you can. Learning to communicate with animals is a four-part on-demand workshop. In the workshop, you'll learn the essential techniques that are necessary to communicate with animals, including what is animal communication, breathing correctly to achieve the perfect state to communicate with your animals at a deeper level, using guided meditation exercises and method to communicate with animals, and how to send and receive information from your animals. So if you're wanting to learn how to communicate and connect with your animals at a deeper level, visit PetLifeRadio.com forward slash workshop and purchase and download Learning to Communicate with Animals. You'll be glad you did. This year, Americans are expected to spend a jaw-dropping $36 billion on their pets. From lighted leashes to high-end spa products, the discriminating pet owner can find just about anything to pamper his or her pet. Hi, this is Michelle Fern. Join me every week for Best Bets for Pets, where we'll talk about the latest pet products and talk to the companies that make them. Best Bets for Pets, every week, only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back. You're listening to Bark and Swagger on Pet Life Radio, and I'm your host, Jody Miller Young. We're here with Will Chen and Natalie Hennessy of Play Pet Products, and we're talking gorgeous designs of these beautiful and eco friendly beds. Tell us more about it, Natalie. We, it was really important that when Play started that we created designs that were unique. We didn't want you to be able to come to Play and find products and patterns that you could see everywhere. One of the ways that we were able to do that was to partner with designers, such as Dave Collins, who's local here in San Francisco, and he really embraced that same kind of passion for pets. He was looking for a pet bed at the time for his dog, Molly, and she was also very picky because they wanted something playful and comfortable. So what's great is with artists like Dave, we're able to really get that playful quirkiness and also have that really high-end, stylish, modern look that you're looking for when you're trying to pick out a pet bed for your home. David designed the chandelier bed? He did, yes. And that's one of our most popular beds. It's just so elegant. I love it. I actually have one. Before I ever knew that you made them, I just saw it in the store and fell in love. And I bought it for one of my cats, Lola, and she sleeps on it every night. So, yeah, I'm a fan. (laughs) (laughs) He's, Um, He's been with us a long time. He's been with you a long time. Yeah, well, he does beautiful work. Yeah. He does. He recently created our outdoor bed collection that we just launched as well this past March. Oh, tell us about that. Well, it's great because we realize that pet parents also like to lounge outdoors, especially here when you can enjoy the nice warm weather. And so we wanted to create a pet bed that was water resistant and repellent. And so Dave partnered with us and created this really modern take on a chevron pattern. And it is available in a red, gray, and black in a variety of sizes to fit all your pets while they're lounging by the pool. Very nice. Very nice. So people who live in warmer climates or right now all over the country, take note. Exactly. But David isn't the only designer you're working with. I love these cool collaborations you've created at Play. Tell us about them. We do have a variety of designers that we work with um, from all over. You know, Dave's in San Francisco. We have designers in Los Angeles, New York, and even as far as Paris. Like I said, we're really just trying to make exclusive artistic pieces that are, you know, are really only found at Play. And I think as well, we did branch out three years ago, and we are working with Wine Barrel Concepts which were, they are able to recycle these beautiful wine barrels and we can make custom cushions with our unique designs to place inside. So it really is a a different, you know, conversational piece and it's also really comfortable for your pet. Very unusual. And when you go on the Bark and Swagger page of the Pet Life Radio site, you can see pictures of of these different beds. Um, The wine barrels are extremely cool looking and like Natalie said, you're not going to see them every place. So check that out as well. Beds, you have got covered, but you also have some great toys. My fave is the Wobble Ball. It's so adorable. Uh, Tell us about the Wobble Ball and also the other toys that you made. Will? Sure, sure. 
So the Volvo Ball is also our team's favorite. We launched it last year. It is uh, for, for those who don't know, the uh, Volvo Ball is actually an enrichment toy for dogs. And although we say that um, we do have cat parents who, who to us, they bought the toy for the cat as well. It's How does it work? Shape. Basically, it's a, yeah, it's a treat dispensing toy. So it has a transparent top where you, the user would or the, uh, the user would put treats in the Volvo Ball. And obviously, your pets will try every way possible, you know, pour it, nudge it, throw it around. They're trying to get a treat out. So it provides hours of intellectual stimulation. And the way we look at it, it really challenges your pets to, to simulate the four different senses. The sight, they see the treat, the sound, you know, the, the sound of the treat rolling around in the wobble ball, the smell, of course, of course, they smell the treat and trying to get it. And lastly, you know, the touch. So it really keeps them mentally and as well as physically healthy. The wobble ball is a very durable, has a very durable construction. It's made of thermoplastic and polycarbonate. So we actually have tested it. We actually tossed a wobble ball from the second floor and it wouldn't break. Oh no my chip, God. No chance of anything. So, <laughs> that, that's a good uh, test. Right. So we're not encouraging it for like a baseball, but we're pretty sure you know, your pet can't possibly damage it by just rolling around in the house. So it's, it's really safe. Uh, and speaking of safe, it's also certified dishwasher safe, so it's very easy to clean. It can oh, be, that's great. Uh, yeah, it can be broken down into three pieces, and you can just slide it into your dishwasher, and it can be taken care of, so it's really easy to be, to be cared for. And uh, I think the last part I would like to highlight is I think um, if you see on the website, you will see that it also comes in a pretty um, delightfully designed package. So it, it also works great as a gift. We have a lot of customers who say that this is such a great gift uh, for their own pups or for their, you know, uh, for their friends who, who love dogs and cats. Yeah, and it comes in some cool colors, Will, too. It's really very, very adorable. Tell yeah. us about some of the other toys that you guys make. Yeah, sure, sure. So and we're also making some really, we do believe they're very cute and adorable and plush toys as well. We have several lines. One is uh, what we call the Garden Fresh. Basically, it's a line of uh, veggies and fruits. And, uh, and that's called one Garden called Fresh? You said Garden Fresh? Garden Fresh. Yeah, the Garden Fresh toy. Garden Fresh. Very cool. And okay. it's been featured in quite a few magazines and uh, in Mark Box as well. Um, it's a subscri- subscription box for pet parents, and I think it's, uh-huh. it's, it's really popular nowadays. And uh, there's another line called Under the Sea. They are basically sea creatures that include a, a giant squid, turtle, oh. clams, just really, you know, a visually attractive toys and uh, you know pets love them because they're soft they have squeakers inside that that provide you know hours of fun and although I would say that no plush toy is indestructible we are pretty we take a lot of pride we're pretty proud that the plush toy that we make are some of the most durable ones in the market double layer construction inverse stitching it's all hand sewn together so um, all come together hopefully in a reasonably priced package so yeah yeah, yeah, What's the material? Toy. What's the toy actually made from? The toy is made from a very soft plush, and there's an industry term for it. It's called uh, Von Nell material. So it's a filler is the Planetil, which uh, Natalie talked about a moment ago. It's the same ah. filler that comes from a recycled bottle that, that's used in our bed. Nice. Very, very nice. And like the responsible and eco-friendly company you are, you also have a great giving back program. Tell us about Warm Bellies Initiative, Will. It's a very, very lovely program. Oh, thank you, Judy. So, yes, the Warm Bellies Initiative program is something that we started um, about two years back. It's a partnership we have with the Pet Founder Foundation. The whole concept is basically we, we, want, to, we want to help animals that, that are in need, that are in shelters. We are pet lovers, and so we all want to do a little bit more, bit more to help. So we came up with the idea of um, doing something bigger. So for every bed that we sell directly, we donate a mask to a shelter across the country. And yeah, so for every bed we sell, we donate a mask to an animal in need. And we're very fortunate to have a great partner in the Pet Finder Foundation because they can do the screening for us and make sure that the shelters that we donate to are doing great work and indeed need help. Although we are a pretty young business, so it took us some time to build momentum for Warm Bellies initiatives. Um, I think now after two years plus, we, we also are very proud to say that we have made 
hopefully some good impact in the in the community. Since the program, we have given given away close to a thousand masks and helped over seventy shelters across the across the country. So uh, wow. hopefully more more will come and we can help animals that are waiting for their forever home. That's beautiful. Really great work. Play is up, I'm sure, as a pet-friendly work environment. How many pets staff do you have at Play right now that help you out? <laughs> does Momo run a tight ship? <laughs> uh, she does. So to answer your first question, the number fluctuates. We have a pet-friendly office, obviously. You know, at its peak, we have five office dogs. You know, we we encourage our team members to bring their, their dogs in whenever they want. But most of the times, usually around two to three. Uh, dogs we have in the office. And to answer the second question, yes, Momo does run a pretty tight ship. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she has to pass and own every new bed herself. She doesn't like it when someone else is eating and she's not. But in all seriousness, <laughs> we have a great team, both human and their fairly good friends. And um, it is great to have a tight team that's small and we have a strong family feeling to it. And we always brainstorm ideas on everything from products to collaborations, like you mentioned before, uh, marketing, you know, how we can give back to the society and everything. So, yeah, it's, it's been a great journey so far. Well, I wish you continued success. It's a wonderful company. I'm definitely a new fan. The best thing about Momo running the ship is unconditional love and they don't talk right. back. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we're out of time, but it's been so much fun learning about play and your great beds and toys to pamper our best buddies. Thank you so much, Will and Natalie, and thank you all for listening. If you're interested in learning more about Play Pet products, you can go to PetPlay.com, see everything they have to offer, and purchase right from the site. So thanks for listening, and thanks to our producer, Mark Winter, who makes us all sound like geniuses. My passion is fashion, so I'm glad you tuned in with me. Come next time to discover the designer styles and home decor I love. And don't forget to visit me on BarkAndSwagger.com, where you'll find great fashion stories and more. Until next time, when fierce fashion calls, bark and swagger. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand. Only on PetLifeRadio.com.